Hey, what's happening everybody? My name is Harrison and this is going to be a C++ tutorial on how to add a component to an actor. Um, again, you never have to watch the videos. There should be a GitHub link down below in the comments where you can immediately just grab the code and move on. So in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a billboard component for as an example. So let's go ahead and create this C++ actor class that will immediately have a billboard component attached to it. First, right click new class. We're going to add an actor. We're going to call it add billboard component, add billboard comp, name it whatever you want. I have the notes to the right side of me, so I'm not doing everything just straight off the top of my head. So hopefully we'll make the uh, videos go faster. Okay, it just opened up my IDD of choice. I'm using Visual Studio Code. It brought me straight to the header file for the new actor we made. We want to make a U property which shows the Unreal Engine that is a to be aware of this. We want it to be visible anywhere. So if we want to change it later, we can. Uh, I think that's good. Uh, we're going to be calling a new class. It's going to be a new billboard component. So I believe you know this would also be a uh, a place where you put in other components if you wanted to inherit from a different class. Uh, don't forget the pointer. All right, billboard comp. Uh, save it and then move into the CPP file under the init function where you set the default values. Let's go ahead and set it up. Uh, the first thing you want to do is create the default object. It's going to equal create default object, create default sub object rather. Uh, it's not coming in. I always I always mess that up. Uh, create default sub object use stack mesh component. No, I think it's gonna be static. Uh, it's gonna be static billboard component. No, rather it's just gonna be you billboard component. And again, that's what I declared in the header file. So we'll be consistent. The text. Uh, I'll be my billboard. Close it out. Uh, semicolon. Uh, before we go any further, we do have to include the component header class into our CPP file. If we don't do that, then it will not recognize the billboard, the U billboard component. And so we include components slash billboard component dot H. Again, this process would be the same for other components. Like what are the other components that we could have? Uh, um, add components, so what there's just all these, just cube, planes, uh, collisions, lights, etc. So, should also follow the same process. For this example, for the billboard component, we do want to make it visible, so we want to set it set hidden in game to false. By default, I believe billboard components are hidden in game, and we want to propagate to the children. Again, there's not really children on this component, but for consistency's sake, we'll go ahead and put it to true. And we'll set the root component. This actor's root component will be equal to my billboard component. So let's save it, compile it, see what happens. All right, we got an error. Where's it at? Uh, no such file or directory. All right, so it's just a typo, I assume. Component. There we go. What's this error? Uh, what's this? Compile again. Wizard set hidden in game. It's not found. All right, I must begin. Set hidden in. I think that's what it is. Oh, it's not an equal sign. I messed up. Um, change that to an arrow function. Now compile. All right, we should be good. Let's go ahead and drag and drop it in. 
a billboard comp. You can see we already have the billboard comp attached. We push play, and there it is. It's always looking at us. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.